this is seriously the most random makeup try on ever, but we're doing everything today. I have so many things to try. Welcome back to today's video. So I have so many products to try with you guys and this is just a huge mishmash of things mainly drugstore affordable and then I have like a couple more higher end things or like things you would find at Sephora or like the high end section of Ulta. I have my Spice Girl pigtails in and let's do this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos and let's see what we're gonna be trying i told you guys that i had so much stuff i have stuff that i got in pr that i want to try and i actually went to ulta and i picked up two things i know it's not so crazy like i am the weirdo who goes to ulta and picks up two things so i have some new launches from essence and elf to try out so we'll get to those so i did a whole skincare routine today using the new believe beauty skincare line so you guys know i love believe beauty they're at dollar general everything is five dollars and under and they actually sent me in pr if you watch my pr haul they launched a skincare line and this is not sponsored <laughs> i'm just like excited about it i did actually film a whole tiktok trying everything i think on camera i'm gonna use the spray mist that they sent me so this is the face toning mist and it says it's an energizing mist it tones skin is it also to set your makeup or like throughout the day you guys know how setting sprays work but the packaging is actually super super cute that's only 350 i want to start out with eyes because just in case anything has fallout i can wipe it away so i got pr again if you watch my pr haul from a brand called absolute new york and they are based where i live which is really fun so this is absolute and this palette is their bronze summers eyeshadow palette it definitely reminds me of, and I said this in that video, the Tartlet Juicy Palette. I mean, don't you guys think so? The color scheme is very similar. So this is called Bronze Summers, and there's so many pretty shades in here that I cannot wait to try out. Much like a summer palette, but I can see myself also taking this into fall time as well. I felt like the lights were way too bright, so I went ahead and just toned them down a little so you guys could see what I'm doing. I'm just going ahead and applying some eyeshadow primer before we get into the eyeshadow you guys know I always do this this is just the believe beauty one that you can actually get at Dollar General my wet n wild creme brulee to set everything because there is not a matte in that eyeshadow palette that they sent over so I want to start out with this shade AC it's like kind of a fun orangey tone so let's just pick some of that up on a crease brush I'm just throwing that into the crease is such a pretty shade and same thing for the other eye I'm just putting this into the crease and just going back and forth it's about my eyes I am wearing contacts from my new favorite contacts brand is called just Kira I have a discount code with them I will link it down below I've been wearing these non-stop I actually ran out of regular contacts and I have to go to the eye doctor so literally all I've been wearing is colored contacts which it's so fun, but also I have astigmatism in one eye, and these contacts are not set for astigmatism, so probably, I don't know, it's probably not good because you have to wear a specific contact for astigmatism, so I am also on the hunt for colored contacts for astigmatism, but they are a lot more expensive um, because they're more specialty, like the way the contact is made. It's really weird, like if you've never heard of astigmatism, it's like your eye is basically like, not like that you can see, but internally, like what they can see, your eye is like curved differently. All I know is it makes the contacts more expensive, so. I also got this really cool brush called the Taper Shaper, Shaper, <laughs> Taper Shader Brush from Absolute, and it says it's synthetic, and it's like a fluffy brush, and I stink and love these kinds of brushes for the outer corner like oh look how cute that is i love that shape and then the handle has these sparkles on it then i'm going to take a little bit of this shade backpacking it's like a coral and another crease brush and i'm just gonna see what this looks like if i add a little bit of this into the crease Ooh, that's super pretty 
it's so funny with blue eyes like right now I have these contacts in I feel like you don't need as much eyeshadow so all you girls who have blue eyes I am so jealous because I feel like you really don't need that much it's like you could put on like one color and some eyeliner or not even any eyeshadow at all and you're just like good to go I feel like with brown eyes I feel like your eyes look better if you have like all these eyeshadow shades on and stuff this shade is pretty decent it's not like the most pigmented thing in the world it's just like okay I'm gonna go into this shade and I'm gonna use that in the outer corner it's pretty much the deepest shade in the palette and let's just smoke out the outer corner a little and create our little area I saw a girl on TikTok the other day she took the shadow like down here but then just cleaned it up after and I was like oh I really like that she's a um like a bridal makeup artist so don't be afraid to kind of do something a little bit different because you can always clean it up. It's like not that big of a deal. And we will carve out the eyeballs with a little brush. And just make your little space here because then I'm going to go in with one of those lighter shades on the eyelid. I'm trying to decide between this light white color or this starry night pink color. Maybe I'll use starry night. I don't know. It's just kind of calling to me. So I'm just going to take that and lay that on top of the concealer this is a super fun shimmer color I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade heat wave my brush is still wet flip the brush over it's like a fun shimmery purple color and I'm just gonna put that right next to the color we just applied I definitely feel like your brush has to be wet with this color or else it wouldn't have come out like as bright but I also always wet my brush like with shimmer shades I feel like it is vital okay so this eye is done and I'm just going in with my wet and wild matte shade and I have a really cool eyeliner to try with you guys this one, I guess you could call it more high-end. If you guys remember that brand, Deck of Scarlet. I'll break because I made this, like, pre-made smoothie. It's, like, pineapple, and then I did add protein powder because I try to have a lot of protein throughout the day because I have been weightlifting, so I want to make sure I'm, like, building them gains. And the smoothie is from Revive Superfoods. I will link their website down below. Basically, it's, like, a godsend if you're lazy because all the smoothie stuff comes in this little container. You throw it in a blender with some water, almond milk, and then you have a meal or smoothie or whatever. Like I was saying, these eyeliners from Deck of Scarlet came out with these and I was like, wait, they like have new makeup? What? So I went on a like virtual class with them and they showed how to use these. And it's the Dual Drama Liquid Eyeliner. So one side is black, this side, and then this side is like a dual chrome. So the whole point is that you're supposed to layer them. The only thing I have issues with these types of liquid liners is because they're so liquidy I feel like it gets stuck in my lashes then it makes my lashes crunchy and then it makes it hard to apply mascara so that's why I don't love this style um so I think you know what I actually might do is do a regular like pen liner and then put this on top do a wing with my wet and wild pen Okay, so there is the black eyeliner, and then I'm gonna go on top of it with this cool duo chrome, and this is called Solar Flare. And I'm just gonna put this on top. And these are cool because when you like move around, the color shifts. And you don't have cool, it gives this like funky effect. I don't know they're just they're fun it kind of reminds me of those Natasha Denona chrome shadows that she had something different something fun for my lower lash line which I totally forgot about I'm gonna go into um that shade AC that shade AC which is the bright orange shade I'm just gonna put that underneath to smoke out the lower lash line gosh it's so cute add this wet n wild eyeliner pencil 
to my waterline and this is literally like one of my favorite things ever to brighten up the eyes okay so I do have a new mascara to try it's the flower beauty volumize waterproof mascara in black and the bottle is navy so at first I was like oh is it like a navy colored mascara but it is black so um, it does look like a rubber bristle brush let's try this out I love believe beauty stuff I did a whole video testing out a bunch of their makeup let us see oh yep this is a rubber bristle wand with a little bit of like an hourglass hourglass shape forming my opinion that's why I'm really quiet see that's why I don't love those eyeliners because I feel like I said before it made my lashes crunchy I feel like this mascara is more for like separation it's not really giving me any volume um, not the best for length either so this is definitely one of those mascaras that I wouldn't use by itself it's just a very kind of like basic mascara and not having clumpy lashes if that's something that you like so this is definitely like more of a natural everyday mascara go ahead and layer this with something else because i don't really like just having a natural look i did pick up a new lash princess og at ulta the other day so i'm gonna go ahead and add this on top for some volume And already I can see how much more volume I have with this mascara and hold it there that's a hack I saw on TikTok is to hold the comb up against the lashes so they stand up when they dry it's not such a cool hack so just hold it if you want more curl my oldest sister actually has the most perfect naturally curled lashes like she does not need a curler a day in her life. I couldn't believe it when I saw her. I was like, your eyelashes actually curled. Like it was crazy. They just were like, ooh, like so cute. I'm already moisturized. Girl's looking a little bit greasy because I did a lot of sheet masking and stuff today. So I am gonna go in with a mattifying primer. Pacifica Cherry Matte Oil Control Primer with Wild Cherry. I'm gonna use this today because I haven't also used this in a while so I'm just gonna smear slather this all over I have two foundations that I think I'm gonna be testing today together so first I have the blur FX foundation from absolute it actually says light to full coverage so I guess you can build it up it is a stick foundation this is $9.99 on the absolute website and it says it blurs textures and pores it's transfer resistant controls oil production throughout the day it's customizable and buildable has a creamy texture for effortless application and blends into a natural velvety finish um, you can also use it as a contour if you have a darker color 12 shades and I have bubble milk tea which is medium tan neutral undertone which I think will be fine for me cruelty free and vegan fragrance free paraben free and then I do have this essence foundation too that I wanted to try I'm thinking because this is more lighter weight I would try it on top I told you guys we were trying all the things today it's out so oh okay that's darker than I thought it was gonna be but I think it'll blend into my neck because I do have more of like a natural tan going on definitely like a slick kind of a feel when you apply it <laughs> it has like a glowy finish at least to me it has like a glowy finish pores look I mean I can see a little bit of blurring on the forehead I can still see my pores pretty good so far let's try this side and out with a sponge this is a real technique sponge I like the way it looks on my forehead. I really did blur those lines out. Those have really been bothering me recently. Especially when I apply foundation. Like I feel like I could see them and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, it's just driving me crazy. Hashtag I need Botox. But I hate needles. 
I actually saw something really cool on TikTok. They're called frownies. I want to try them. They're like these little patches that they're invented like forever ago by this. You put them on overnight and then they're supposed to, with daily wear, help to smooth out fine lines. So I will link them for you guys. Um, I think they're on Amazon. I think they're very affordable. Like my skin, it's actually interesting. I feel like it looks more matte with the sponge and usually it's the opposite usually with the brush i'm more mad with the sponge usually with stick foundations they are so hard to blend this one it, it's definitely more emollient so it glides easier on the skin and it makes it easier to blend out now for the essence i heard this was really great for medium coverage it's the pretty natural hydrating foundation oh this is good because i think it's actually gonna lighten up that color a little bit which is nice I like it i think it looks nice i mean i definitely think if you have more oily skin more textured skin you might not love these just because it is glowier emphasizes things a little bit more but if you want more of that youthful glow i think you would like this one and this one because they kind of both have that like satiny glowy finish I'm loving my mark jacobs extra shot i've literally been wearing this every day you guys it's really good I have the shade light so you can kind of see where I put it I go down my nose and then I blend up up to the temple and then kind of work in the middle with the sponge I'm gonna use my believe loose powder this is also from Dollar General and I'm just gonna use this to set underneath my eyes, do a little, just like tiny, tiny bit of baking. I'm not gonna go too crazy because I don't want it to be like crepey or anything, but the number seven Illuminate, you guys, this stuff is freaking amazing. I'm gonna put this on my forehead in the middle. Oh, it's magical. Okay, brows are done, and I actually wanted to try this lip product. I just got it in the mail, and I have been using it every single day, multiple times a day, and I really like it so far. Peptide Lip Booster with Squalene. It says it hydrates and softens lips, visibly, visibly firms, and smooth lines. I am a huge fan of Paula's Choice products. I think their products are so, so good. I've used up so many of their products. You guys know I've talked about them in empties. I am a big fan i love that the applicator is actually a cooling tip it feels so nice so mm, i love it it's so like cushy on the lips really really nice i do have some foundation on so there is some foundation like stuck on my lips but i love it because it's has a very nice in between with the consistency where it's not too thin i don't like when a lip balm is too thin but it's also not too thick which i also don't like kind of like the elf uh what are those called those very thick elf bombs like those are like too thick for me i picked up a new product from elf so excited about this this is the putty bronzer and this is the sister product to the putty blushes as you guys know my ulta had a full display like in the main elf area and i was like oh my gosh i cannot believe there was a full display i was shocked so i got the lightest shade which is called tan lines so let's see how this guy is i was debating getting the putty brush but i was like oh i have so many brushes i don't need it, it does have good reviews though on the ulta website so i really like the putty blushes i think this one i forget the name of it it's the bright pink one i really like that i saw they were coming out with these i was like oh that is such a smart move by elf to do a putty bronzer so i'm i'm gonna go out on here and say putty highlights are next i'm just guessing so here's what it looks like it is oh, it's so fresh i hate to ruin it that like first scoop i'm like kind of wondering how should i apply this i'm thinking maybe with a foundation brush i'll just pick some up and then put it in my contour area you guys know I've been focusing it up higher and then take my sponge and just blend that in hopefully the shade isn't too light I was kind of torn between I'm putting this on my forehead too this one and the next shade up and by the way i don't know if i mentioned it but this was six dollars and i'm thinking i can also contour my nose with this 
it definitely blends away pretty easily i found that also with the putty blushes like i feel like it kind of just blends away to nothing so it is something that i feel like is more natural like you have to definitely layer it if you want something more substantial but if you like more of a natural beginner friendly contour i think this would be your jam like this is something where i would probably layer a powder on top but because i'm going for this whole kind of like fresh look today i feel like this fits with what i'm going with and the foundation and everything i'm gonna put this on the jawline area blend that in i just feel like i put it on and i'm like where did it go i feel like it's what is this hair what i feel like john travolta in greece i'm gonna go over it with my hula glow which has been one of my favorite summer bronzers like oh it's so pretty blush i'm gonna use the pixie on the go blush this was in my favorites video and this is in the shade fleur these are pricey so kind of stinks they're like 18 dollars i'm like oh my gosh it's crazy it's a little deodorant i'm saying it's crazy because it's target but like it's not sephora it's such a pretty color you guys like it's a beautiful baby pink oh it's gorgeous and then i'm gonna go on this side and you do kind of need to use something else to like blend it in and you can take this up high i mean that's kind of been the trend is to take your blush up really high a la 80s all these creams <laughs> they just make you look so fresh i just keep saying fresh because that's what it is lumi glotion continuing on with my like cream highlights whatever and I'm just going to add this to, ooh, yeah, I am loving this. And I'm going to add a lip liner. This is the LA Girl Ultimate Lip in Keep It Spicy. And then I have a few lip options that Absolute sent over to me. So I think I might try this one. It is the Vinyl Lipstick. I think it's called Vinyl Lipstick. And the color is Silk Ribbon. They have really pretty packaging. Let me let me show you guys. It's like this really fun glitter. Kind of actually reminds me of the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. A brown tone nude. So I'm gonna apply this guy. Ooh, this is pretty. Ooh, I think I just got on my tooth. But... Remember I did a video? It was like this whole video and someone all the one person had one comment all they wrote was lipstick on your tooth nothing about the video not like there's lipstick on your tooth and like you did a great job on the video it was just lipstick on your tooth freshly bitten gloss should i put it on top and see what it looks like i mean let's see what it looks like might as well while we're here look at their caps they are so pretty and then the lipsticks are like this silver glitter I love it Ooh, it's pretty it's like gonna be I think my fall nude lip you guys finish everything off because I think I'm pretty much done with the Believe Beauty face toning mist that I was telling you guys about and you get so much product in here six fluid ounce it's really big and like I said before and it is only 350 so Okay guys, here is the completed look. Oh my goodness. I love this look. I, I'm going to use my word. It's fresh, you guys. It's so fresh. Um, the eyes, I am digging. Um, let's kind of like just go over things really quickly. I don't want to like keep you guys any longer because I feel like I've had you for so long. But the absolute <laughs> eyeshadow palette, really, really nice. 
I love this eye look and I feel like the orange crease really is what made it and the shades are just so pretty like that pink I love that pink these shimmery lid shades were really nice um, they can be a little bit dusty like it's not a perfect eyeshadow palette by any means not a perfect eyeshadow palette but I really think the look came out so so nice and I was really impressed with what I was able to do like they weren't hard to blend out or anything like that there was that one shade that coral shade which wasn't really the most pigmented but everything else I really liked and if you wet the shimmers they are beautiful especially that like light shade I put in the front so I recommend these I think these are great I think this is a nice affordable option to that tart juicy palette if you're looking for one and I mean I'm kind of in love with this this eye look especially with this with these contacts these contacts let's give it up for these contacts because they're awesome <laughs> uh, and then okay what else do I have thoughts on I really liked this foundation stick it's good because you can build it up you can work with it it gives a nice natural finish to the skin it's easy to use it's easy to blend unlike some other stick foundations I've used didn't really give me a super blurring effect with my pores but I do feel like it blurred out my fine lines on my forehead which I love and then I really like the essence pretty natural foundation I know I use them together but I think this is a really nice layering foundation and also a beautiful medium coverage that just adds a little bit of like glow to your skin so I'm I'm here for it and the, this putty bronzer what do I make of this I mean it's really nice for like just an everyday natural kind of thing but for when you really want to like slay and like snatch a contour ends away I feel like I put on like literally five layers of this and it just kind of like with the sponge I was like where did it go I even just before when I was done with my makeup I did add more to my forehead so that is disappointing to me like I would rather use my um, my tried and true Avon magic swans this thing is so good it doesn't blend away so easily that is like a pet peeve of mine when a product you put it on and then it goes away I'm like what well, what just happened here so um yeah I don't know I don't know if I'm in love with this because of that fact so that's a bummer I was super excited about that so and then what else did I use oh the um I kind of gave you guys my thoughts already on the mascaras earlier I love freaking lash princess man this stuff is golden because I feel like I'm wearing like false lashes I didn't even put any lashes on today because this was good enough for me I love this blush the pixie in floor is so pretty I had so much fun trying out all of these products with you guys i hope you enjoyed it too let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this look a closer look that is it you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye